Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy and simple coin purse and you don't need any zippers or lining to make this one. It's very easy to make and you can make a lot for giveaways or as tokens to people you care about. Round 1, you're going to make 6 single crochets in the magic ring. For round two, you're going to work in spiral, and on each stitch, you're going to work two single crochets. Round 3, you're going to make an increase on every second stitch of this round. For round 4, you're going to work 2 single crochets into every 3rd stitch. For round 5, you're going to work 2 single crochets on the 4th stitch. For round 6, you're just going to work 1 single crochet in every stitch until you get the desired height of the purse you want. At the end of each round, do not forget to uh, place the uh, stitch marker so that you know where to start your next round.
changing colors is optional but in my case because I have a lot of scrap yarns so I'm using all those scrap yarns in order to make a beautiful coin purse so I started changing the color somewhere in between the round but if you want to create a stripes make sure to start changing color on the first stitch of this round So once you get to your height of the uh, coin purse, you're going to fold it flat so that you know where the half of this edge of this coin purse is. And half of the side, you're going to simply work one single crochet in each stitch across. And then once you get to the end here, you're going to chain... No, you're not going to chain one but you're just going to turn and skip the uh, first stitch so that in every round the stitch will be decreased and it will form like a triangle. So once you get here, this is the half of the side of the coin purse, you're going to turn it, skip the very first stitch, and then in the next stitch, you're going to work one single crochet until you get to the other end, and then you're going to turn and skip again the first stitch. So you're going to do that until you have four single crochets left. Now once you have 4 single crochets left, you're going to work 2 more rounds of this and then we're going to make the buttonhole next. So I forgot to tell you that after uh, working 4 single crochets in each stitch, because we're not going to make a decrease, you need to chain 1 and turn. And then after that, we're now ready to add the uh, buttonhole for this. You're going to chain 4 and then slip stitch on the very first single crochet that we made. And then after that, we're simply just going to even out the edges by working one single crochet in each stitch across. Until we get to the uh, loop.
And once you get to the uh, chain space, we're now going to work five single crochets in there. And then work a slip stitch on the first single crochet that we've made in this round. And then that's it. You're just simply going to fasten off and we're now ready to add the uh, button. Alright, so the last step is adding the button or a bead, which is very easy to do. And after that, you now have a coin purse. This is very easy to make. Maybe you can just do it in 20 minutes for intermediate crocheters. And you can definitely make five of these in just an hour. Now, um, also, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you guys for subscribing to my channel. If you're new, I will uh, post some of the uh, pictures of the projects that I have made previously after this clip and uh, thank you guys I hope you have a great Sunday